To me, the exciting thing about Garage was that it was essentially a new kind of British rap. The only problem was that the actual rapping, at least at first, wasn't up to much. This was strange because to my knowledge pretty much every Garage MC thought of themselves as being a rapper. In their own minds they were all really into Mob Deep but the only way they got paid was to chat about going to the bar for a Zambuca. Rap music was not seen as accessible because it was inherently American. It was what everyone really wanted to be doing but there was no hope of breaking through and getting any attention once you'd admitted that. There was a hope with Garage though, because people were having hit singles from really early on. The paradox was that if you were a Garage MC, you had all of the career possibilities, but none of the status. If you're a rapper, it's cool. You're a wordsmith, a rhyme artist, a yarn spinner. But if you're a Garage MC, you're more like a holiday rep. At least that was the way it started, until the momentous Dizzy Rascal came along and actually was a rapper.